Hello, Dylan Panico here with Bluebeard Adventures, where we explore, discover, and repeat the great outdoors. Yesterday I was asked what my opinion was of aftermarket tire pressure monitoring systems. So let's dive into that topic. I called up a friend of mine after receiving the question, who's the manager of a tire store, to ask him his thoughts. I figure, well, hey, what, who better to go to than directly to the source, right? So here's his thoughts. First of all, the factory installed tire pressure monitoring systems on your vehicle, the sensor's inside the rim and the tire. It's protected. Now, most aftermarket systems are gonna replace your valve stem cap. That's, that's great, not a problem. So, but here's a couple of thoughts to factor in. Inside here is gonna be a pin that's gonna depress the valve stem, letting air pressure out to the valve stem cap so that this valve stem can send a signal of the pressure inside the tire into the vehicle to let you know where you're at. So hypothetically, if the seal in here gets compromised, air could leak out. Well, that's not a big deal because in theory you could fill the tire back up occasionally because it's not going to be a major leak. But also if that seal fails, now this valve stem is open and dirt crap and corruption could get in there. But if you drive this through a river or down a really dusty road, hypothetically if that seal goes bad, stuff could get in there and then now you're going to ruin the valve stem cap sensor and you're going to get stuff inside the valve stem. The tires going to have to be dismounted and put back on and cleaned up. Additionally, we drive these trailers down some rough terrain, through over rocks and through rivers and around branches and whatnot. The sensor on the valve stem cap, it's plausible it could get knocked, banged, or damaged in some sense and no longer be functional. So that's another thing to consider because again, the factory ones are inside the tire. Also, when we're off-road, we air these tires down to give you a smoother ride. So if I was driving, if the sensor knows that I set this to 50 and below that, I'm, I want you to trigger a yellow light to tell me I'm, def I'm uh, low tire pressure, what happens when I go off-road and I deflate this down to say 20, an easy number to remember, right? So does the system that you're considering buying, can you set the parameters to, okay, I'm off-road now, so I'm going to set this to 20. I want you to notify me if I hit 15, so I know that I have a leak. I've got a puncture in my sidewall or something. Um, but when I'm back on-road, I'm going to air this back up to, again, an easy number, 50. I want you to notify when I hit, say, 45 PSI. So can you adjust the system parameters? That would be my other question for you. Again, I'm just giving you food for thought. I'm not saying it's a good idea or a bad idea. I know there's a whole lot of them out there from really simple to really advanced. I found one yesterday that does six tires. So it'll do both Opus tires and then all four vehicle tires. That's great. If that's what you want, go for it. I'm just giving you food for thought. Again, careful it doesn't get damaged. Know that it could possibly leak. Stuff could get in there. And that's not how the factory systems work. So please, in your comments down below, I'd love to hear what you decided to do. And if you did buy a remote system, what one did you buy? Throw a link in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so every time we bring you a video, you can check it out immediately as soon as I post it. So I hope our trails cross soon. Until then, cheers.